All right, welcome everybody uh, to uh, this Tuesday's Health Huddle. We have a lot of new people I see on the line tonight, so I'll just introduce it. Uh, my name is Brad Miller, first and foremost. I'm a certified health coach, and we do these calls every Tuesday, real quick, real easy. We also record them, so if you can't catch them live, we have a recording of them. And we just touch on a different topic of health uh, per week. So it doesn't matter if you're in the weight loss stage of our program, if you're optimizing your health, or just considering uh, utilizing this or on a three and three plan, wherever you're at, this is just a topic to feed your healthy mind. So since we're talking about feeding our healthy mind tonight, we're talking about also feeding our healthy stomach. So this week's uh, topic is eating good in the neighborhood. And what we're talking about today is basically all the different ways that you can enjoy your lean and green meal or your healthy options, you know, for life on this. And hold on, I have a, uh, someone who's, I think they caught themselves. Um, all right, oh, I'm going too far. Oh, I already gave away my funny slides. So, but just as we get started here, if this is your first call, we want to say welcome uh, because one thing's really exciting is this is a habit of health. You get to expand your mind. Um, these are topics uh, from Dr. A's Habits of Health or things that you can learn within the Habits of Health. And by being in community online and plugged in, you are more likely to, and actually a stat that, that we found here is you're 57% more likely to be like the people you surround yourself with. So in the, in the case of Zoom, look up and look down and then just say you're welcome to the person next to you or type it out in the chat or whatever it is you want to do. Um, because, you know, be, being around surrounded by other people that are health conscious will spur you forward. So congrats on plugging in. Um, feel free to also chat in the, in the box there. I'm going to share some, uh, a topic today. And um, you can feel free to just share tips that you have on the subject and as well as I'm going to have some people come off and just give some of their tips that they found because this is an exploration process while we're getting healthy. So on the five and one plan or any part of our program, um, one cool thing you get a day is a lean and green. So besides the five easy healthy meals that you just grab and I have mine right here, I have my shake, you just reach and you just grab nutrition every two and a half to three hours. One of those times you're eating what's called a lean and green. So it's a lean serving a five to seven ounces of a lean protein and um, three servings of non-starchy vegetables. So one thing I like to cover with people because this is what people think a lean and green is or what you should eat on a diet. And I usually catch people when they're first starting their program and uh, when I was guilty of it in the first place, I'm like, all right, bring on the boiled chicken and the steamed veggies or you know, bring on that salad with chicken again. And, you know, if you like salad and chicken, go for it. It actually is one of my favorite salads is, uh, is a chicken Caesar salad. Um, but, you know, it's not meant to be like this. It's not meant to be boring. It's not meant to be fun. And probably one of the coolest things about your lean and green while you're on plan and for life is that it should be fun and you're practicing cooking. And one of my most favorite things that I learned while I was um, on my health journey was how simple it was to start changing out good food with the stuff that's in recipes or at restaurants with stuff that's not going to be conducive to my healthy life that I want. And it's just making small switches. So you get to have the taste without the bad stuff in it. it just by making small adjustments. Like, you know, here's an example, like sour cream, you can easily trade it out for Greek yogurt. So it's lower glycemic, it's higher in protein. You get to have more of it. Um, I'm trying to think here. Um, lettuce wrap, buns on a, a hamburger, like just basically it, it, that bun's just soaking up the taste from the meat anyways, or the turkey burger, whatever's inside, You're surrounded in lettuce, it tastes even better. Um, just, I'm kind of, I'm missing a few different things here, but with some small switches, oh, spaghetti, I have one of those, for example, did you know you could have spaghetti squash, which is even more amazing, and you don't have that gross feeling afterwards, like you have to roll over after you had your, your, your spaghetti. So, you know, we meant to have fun. So are you eating like the stuff that I showed there? Or have you expanded and uh, started having some fun with your lean and green? So if you're like me, you may not need to expand. I could eat taco salad every single night. And uh, um, I get to expand because my wife does not like to eat the same thing every night. But I'm a guy and I could use one plate and one fork and uh, the same lean and green seven days a week. I'd be totally fine. But these are the things you can do to expand. These are just some recipes. Does your lean and green look like this? So over here in the left-hand corner, this is shirataki noodles. So they're a root vegetable. They're low in carb. You get to have a lot of them. So those are actually a vegetable and you can make a stir fry with them. Here's uh, that uh, spaghetti squash spaghetti that I was talking about with lean turkey and tomato um, sauce is essentially just tomatoes. So if you find some that's not packed with all the extra stuff that the large companies pack into it, you can have a healthy meal and a lot of great flavor in there. This right here is a Gina Schnabel favorite. So these are uh, taco boats as well as a taco bowl. You can have a Lettuce wrap, this is, um, this is a shrimp mushroom um, melt. 
This is a, a, a broccoli and chicken stir fry, and this is a bell pepper stuffed uh, with uh, with lean ground turkey and some other fixings too. So I just wanted I wanted to show you these basically to get creative and to know that you don't if you're if you're ordering salad with chicken or you're boiling your chicken and you're having just plain vegetables expand you know you're one of the coolest things while being on plant is that your flavor uh your taste buds are getting cleaned out so you can taste things even better than you had before so i know some of you guys i can't see everyone because i can only have a few people on my screen right now but you're probably saying oh man i know when i know how good food tastes now because it's not weighed down with all the extra garbage that's in the food because you're just eating clean food while being on our plan so the good reminder is if you keep good food in your fridge, you will eat good food. And eat good food tastes good. So the uh, topic this week is just to remind you that explore, expand. There are so many different ways to implement health. I just gave a few tips there. But if you trade out the old uh, with the new, you can start to implement foods that you'll love for the rest of your life uh, while on plan. Um, another one that I like is uh, just a simple egg white um, 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 pesto and uh, roasted tomatoes. It's a great way to start the morning. It's quick and easy, and it's lean, and it's got spinach and everything in it too. So just keep your food, uh, your, uh, your uh, pantry stocked, and this is a great way for you to practice long-term um, and uh, keep health. So I'm going to keep it really short tonight, but I'm going to encourage you guys this week to say, what am I going to explore? What different things do I want to do that are good for me? Um, not only good for my lean ingredients that are good for my taste buds, but are also good for my stomach and also can become staples in your eating routine. So with that being said, uh, this is basically the topic for tonight. If I'd like to have anyone come off and just share, what's your favorite lean and green? What's, what have you discovered that you didn't know before planner? What are some simple adjustments you've learned to make since starting your lean and green, uh, you know, while on plan and I'll just uh, set it up for anyone to come off mute whenever you're ready. Hey, Brad. Yeah, who's there? This is Tony. Hey, Tony, go for it. Hey, uh, thank you for, uh, for doing this. This is, uh, this is awesome, a great topic. One of, the, uh, one of the tips that I found helpful is actually splitting it, splitting the lean and green also uh, between, between times of the day, depending on your schedule. And at first, I wasn't sure. I thought I had to always have my lean and green just at dinner. But Sometimes it's been helpful when there's a plateau or when I'm traveling and or if I have an evening event or a morning event, I can kind of adapt it and split my protein like three and three. So that's been a tip that uh, I really like. Yeah, so that's, one of, that's, that's yeah. one of the options that we have on plan. If you're hearing that and that sounds like a good fit for you. Um, connect with your coach to make sure it's a good lineup for your plan and uh, where you're going. But yeah, t Tony, I'm glad you mentioned that because that's a great tip that you have in there as yeah. well, splitting up throughout the day. I love it. Yeah. Both have some tips of things that uh, they discovered uh, while yeah. I know I'm not the only one that uh, has had probably that discovery while I'm playing. Hey, Bradley. Oh, of course, Dan, you're going to chime in. I'm, not, I'm giving you a hard time. I love it when you what, share. What is up? <laughs> What's up? up? You know, there's like, there's like a, I've found that there are, there's like a, a pull in two different directions between like productivity or practicality and creativity, right? So, there's like, you know, we, we all have busy lives. So we want to have, we want to have practicality, but we also want to have creativity. And, and there's a, there's a magic, you know, and some people like the creativity part. There's those foodies out there speaking of Bobby Scott who, uh, who love that. Um, and then there's those like, like the guys, a lot of the guys are just all eat the same thing over and over again. But, um, well, I, I may be a nerd, but I love having like all these colors in my fridge. Like I love, I love that. And I love cutting up veggies. So they're sitting there, they're ready and, and, and you're going to eat it if it is like it said in that quote. And, and there are a ton of resources. I mean, you look at, you look at Pinterest, Take Shape for Life ha has a, a recipe corner for awesome lean and greens. So there's a lot of them. Uh, your coach probably has a Facebook support group that they've plugged you into. And if not, ask them about it because there's a lot of resources there. Um, and one last thing is like when you do, we don't eat out a lot at restaurants, but when we do, we like to have a good healthy, as healthy as you can get in a restaurant. But we, Chelsea and I really like to like mimic the, the things that we try when we're out and about and like put a healthy twist on it. You know, like you said, with, with different things, uh, you know, we tried eggplant, like I've never had eggplant before, but we actually used it as a bun and, and a lot of crazy things. But so there's some ideas and thoughts to, uh, to making it fun being pro 
you know, making it practical while being creative at the same time. I love that. The, uh, that's a tip I didn't even think about covering is the practicality of it. Um, I'll come back to that as we wrap up because I think that's a really good one to hit on. Who else has some things that they found uh, that was kind of a staple that they discovered they had no idea before plan? Uh, hey, Brad, this is Brandon. Hey, what's up, B? One of the things that my, my – hey, one of the things I found is my, my life hasn't changed. Uh, it has changed a lot with, with being on plan, but, but my life is still my life. And I'm out running around talking to people and, and, and being part of the community. And so as I'm out running around and I, I have my stuff in my bag every once in a while, uh, I, I found a place called Salad to Go. You know, it's something quick and easy. You know, I can still run in and go through a drive through And so I just replaced the McDonald's with uh, Salad to Go. You know, it's, it's a place that uh, there's a lot of them around here. And, you know, I, I, I can eat healthy instead of eating just out of convenience. I can eat, you know, specifically to what I'm trying to accomplish. I like that because that's a good tip too. A lot of people say, I don't know if I can find a lean and green out. You can make a lean and green anywhere i've gotten like super creative at the most interesting places and the cool thing about the leading green is it just helps you start to figure out where um where um where that comes from and actually yeah cindy just mentioned in the chat gina schnabel you have come up with probably the most amazing recipe ever so would you share with people what you did this week because it was nothing short of um just uh, it was it was a masterpiece you can say genius it's okay no i'm yeah, just kidding genius, amazing uh yeah, yeah all the things i mean okay so off. um so i i i love cooking with my waffle maker but i i don't think anybody has talked about cauliflower yet and it's um you can rice it chop it up in small pieces and you could use it as rice and like um put your your main over it your main dish whatever it is um but what i like to do is make the cauliflower pizza because my whole family likes it but it takes so long. Um, and I like to cook it till it gets crispy, bake it on both sides till it gets crispy. And I use the Sandy's Kitchen recipe for cauliflower pizza crust number two. And um, I decided to try it in the waffle iron and it turned out great. So now I can make cauliflower pizza in three, in about 30 minutes from um, either chopping the rice to using Trader Joe's also sells the um, cauliflower rice already in the bag. You could just buy it like that and, you know, dish it out, scoop it out with your cup. Um, so I threw it in the waffle iron and it turned out amazing because it's cooking both sides at once and it only takes three minutes to, um, to get your crust done. So it's pretty awesome. It's one of my favorites. We had it like three days in a row and, um, and yeah, cauliflower. And cauliflower. cauliflower. Yeah. It's like a public service announcement announcement. Cauliflower. It's good. Eat it. Make it into pizzas. Make it into rice. It's good for you. Um, so the more you know. The more you know. So I think that's a good way to close up the call. <laughs> cauliflower. Make it into anything. Make it into a waffle. Gina, it would be a hit if it was if you were out here in Portland. They waffle everything. I was at a uh, I was at a store the other day where they were like having waffle sandwiches and everything was served on waffles. So might be a hit up here in the Portland area. We're really weird. So um, that pretty much wraps up the topic this week, guys. Thanks for joining in. And uh, the last thing I'll hit on is um, food prep is probably one of the most amazing thing you can do. So um, if you like a good uh, practice is on Sunday, you know, when on a rest day, get your meals prepped for the week, have it set up in there. If you're like me, one of the things I do is I'll cook up a bunch of uh, lean ground turkey or some lean meat or buffalo and I just keep it in the fridge. If I need to go, if I need to grab it, it's right there. There's frozen vegetables. It's like lean and green in two minutes. You add some Greek yogurt to a hot, hot sauce, you're ready to rock. Um, and it doesn't look that great, but it tastes amazing. And um, I like it too. And actually another tip that I did is you've seen burger lettuce wraps. Well, I've actually made a burger mashup in a, just a bowl. It doesn't look that good and it, would, it tastes weird at first, but you're like, if you just picture a burger when you're eating it, it's probably the best tasting thing I've ever tasted. So um, just other tips that you have. And then also, if you haven't tried it, guys, we have call, these things called flavors from home. They're lean and green meals that are pre-made um, by Take Shape for Life. They are great in a pinch. So I like the turkey meatball. Those are another ones that grab. So these are all just great ways to cook good in the neighborhood. So happy cooking. The barbecue is also a great thing to utilize in the summertime. I highly recommend it. Just don't overchar uh, your meat or your vegetables. And uh, with that being said, explore, enjoy, create new uh, staple dishes in your routine. And um, let's go out there and just make another healthy week. Thanks for joining in, everybody, and everyone who shared. Thanks, Brad. 
Awesome. Good night, everyone. What's up, Gina? You Thanks, rock. Good night, guys. Good to see you, Dan. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, you guys, Gina and Dan. Brad, thanks, everyone. Thank you, Tony. Bye. Thanks, Tony. Good night, John Boy. Good night, John Boy. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Annie. Is Denise on? Or Laura? I see Annie.